know sometime or another this year I've got two discs at least in my back that have bulged and given me a fit. I go today to a specialist and they tell me what they can do. But the pain has been unbearable. I didn't want to do any kind of opiates or anything like that. So I decided to look into this wild lettuce. Uh, ran across it by accident and seeing that it said morphine like without the you know negative sides of morphine and I wondered if it was true or not. I used morphine back in 2009 and 2010 while I was going through radiation and chemotherapy and the radiation doctor ended up making a mistake and overburning me. So I know what morphine feels like and I know I don't want that again. So I found sites like this uh, that go in and they kind of give you an overview, overview of wild lettuce, the history of its use, uh, common uses, which anxiety, sleep and insomnia to relieve pain and tension, migraines, headaches, asthma, mild euphoria. Um, I can attest to it will help you sleep better. And it does affect the pain. It, it's not nothing like morphine, but sites like this, they don't really say that it's morphine. That morphine like qualities, they just say it reduces pain. And uh, I don't know for the migraines and headaches or the asthma or the mild euphoric, but I do know that the pain and insomnia helped a lot. Uh, and the method that I used was the tincture that goes underneath the tongue. And uh, the ones that I used, each one of them said to do 10 drops. I bought two different types, but I'm getting ahead of myself. And I ran into sites like this that say the myth behind painkilling lettuce. Some doctor's manuals from the 19th century do list whatever that word is, as a pain reliever, but there's little evidence that it works. And, you know, you go down through here and you, you read this and you get to thinking, well, maybe this is all hype. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of BS that goes on on not only the internet, but everywhere about what works and try this and try that. However, I really must wonder at this point who Pacific Standard is and who's financing them, who's gone behind and paid for this because this is false. And so just as saying that it was like morphine is false, so is this false. One place that I've kind of come to trust now, I totally trust Merkla and a few others, but one traditional website I kind of trust is WebMD. And, you know, they give you an a over, overview of what's going on and the uses, side effects, interactions, dosing. Uh, it says, while well, this is used to treat whooping cough, asthma, urinary tract problems, cough, trouble sleeping, insomnia, restlessness, excitability in children. Painful menstrual periods, excessive sex drive in women, nymphomania, muscular joint pains or circulation, swollen genitals in men, and as an opium substitute in cough preparations. Uh, it's also used for hardening of the arteries and as a substitute for wheat germ oil. It says that you can put it straight on your skin to kill germs. Some people in the L wild live for a recreational high or hallucinogenic effect. But what I was concerned with was side effects. And, you know, we got pregnancy, which a lot of the stuff, whether it's conventional or unconventional medicine, you really need to watch when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Uh, this is also enlarged prostate, allergy to ragweed and related plants, narrow glaucoma, narrow angle glaucoma, 
and it says something about that it can cause too much sleepiness. Now that part, I have found out at night, I hurt usually so bad when I stop and I lay down. I've been sleeping in the floor with a heating pad and it still takes forever to go to sleep. And so I've been using the 10 drops under the tongue at night. And I can tell you, during the daytime, I, I try my best not to use this because this will make you sleepy. So do not take this and drive if you try it. Uh, interactions, other than sedatives and depressants, really, there is none. So that's always a plus. And the dosing, you know, I mean, it says to consult your health care. Let's face it, you go to any doctor, conventional doctor, and tell him that you're going to try wild lettuce rather than an opiate or any kind of painkiller that comes from Big Pharma, they're going to tell you no. No, well, not any of them, but most of them, 9 out of 10 of them will. And so, you know, I always go there and I look and see what all they have to say. Because I found out that they're pretty straight up, straightforward, and the sites that are selling you wild lettuce, I didn't think that I found any that mentioned all those of the side effects. Uh, you know, WebMD ain't selling you nothing, so they're going to just flat come out and tell you about it. After a few days of researching, I finally decided to settle in and I bought two types. I found them on eBay, and these are the types that I bought. To, from what I've seen so far, uh, both of them are, have an alcohol base, which burns like hell under the tongue. But from what I've seen so far, they both perform pretty much equally. Uh, and there are some that are more expensive. And I don't know, maybe they're better. But these seem to work pretty well. But again, that is just my findings and my use on me. Yours may vary. So, I mean, be sure if you're going to try this to uh, do the research, know what meds you're taking, and if you don't know, consult your physician. And, you know, it may be a work, maybe it won't. But as for me, I'm, I'm glad that I tried it, I'm glad that I did it, and I will keep some around the house from here on in. It, it does work, it's not going to do none of the glorified things, if you see something overstated, it's probably not going to do that. But it is going to work on a lot of things, and it's going to do well. Uh, and you don't have all the side effects that you're going to have from big pharma's medicines. And uh, do your own research, though. Always, it's your body. You got one of them. So do your own research. As for me, I, I have nothing negative to say about this stuff.